Chinese officials had hoped the Olympic flame would receive a warm welcome in the City of Life, but the heated scuffles with police were probably not the temperature they had in mind. Apart from starting on time, little else from the Paris torch relay went according to plan. Anti-China demonstrators were everywhere along the route, supporting Tibetans who are being oppressed by Chinese authorities and agitating for greater freedom of the press and human rights in China. They are trying to impose an image of themselves, which is not the truth. And events are showing, even with CNN and, and medias, that they are trying to, to, to how to say, to mask the truth. But China had its supporters in the crowd, too. And here and there, fistfights broke out between the two sides, with security forces often having a hard time keeping them apart. Repeatedly along the 28-kilometer, 17-mile route, the motorcade surrounding the Olympic torchbearers was brought to a halt by protesters. That despite police vans and motorcycles, jogging firemen and security men on rollerblades. Each time, the torch was brought inside a backup bus. About the only part of the route that did go according to plan was a run down Paris's famous Avenue des Champs-Élysées, although passers-by would have had a hard time seeing the flame amid all the security. And here, as elsewhere, demonstrators from Reporters Without Borders were able to unfurl a banner with the Olympic ring shown as interlocking handcuffs. The group called its action a success. It showed that at the international level there is a very, very huge movement to support uh, the request for more human rights before the Olympics. So it's a big failure for the Chinese government and they have to change their policy because if they don't do it, it will, be, uh, it will jeopardize all the success of the Olympic Games. Further proof demonstrators had gotten what they wanted came a short while later when the Olympic organizers decided not to risk one of the more important stops of the day at the Paris City Hall, where the mayor of Paris had installed a banner reading, Paris supports human rights. The motorcade passed right by without stopping, as it did at the French Parliament, where some members interrupted their session to stand out front in protest. From there to the end of the relay, the flame was not seen again until it reached a stadium in southeastern Paris. A small ceremony inside went off as planned, but the day went to the protesters, and it raised again the question of whether President Sarkozy would participate in the Olympics next August. French government officials say there's no point in boycotting the Olympics in general, but they are holding out the possibility that President Sarkozy might stay away from the opening ceremonies. The foreign minister repeated that that's an option that's being held open until the last moment. For now, after a chaotic day, officials here are no doubt just as happy to see the Olympic excitement headed elsewhere. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.